Good morning. Good morning. Do you know if there's any like Lego people in there or is it just the You don't know? Okay. How much is the whole box? Fourteen. That's Four. what I got to pay for you. So. Okay. I got mud on my shoes, Mom. What? Mud on my shoes. <laughs> Done. How y'all doing? Good. Better than Louisiana, I'm guessing. Yeah, they're gonna get pounded here. Yeah, it's about it's about ready. It should have hit or is about ready to hit, right? Yeah. How much are your reels? This is gonna push it right up. Uh, just depends. How much are the two pen reels? Ten bucks. Ten bucks? For both? Yeah. How much is that one? Would you take seven for those two? Perfect. How much is your Xbox? The Xbox? How much were you thinking? Oh, you said you sold it. It's right here. I thought I did. <laughs> How much was I thinking? Let's see what games you got. Sports games, sports games, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of sports games, huh? Yeah. Mortal Kombat. I don't know. I mean, what were you guys having on? What was your price on it? We don't really have anything on it. You need me to add three dollars to my thing, whatever you buy, add to whatever I buy. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, does it work? Yes, it works. It, yeah, all the cords are here. You should take fifty. Fifty. We'll go fifty for this. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. All right. Cool. All right. Fifty cents. Yeah. 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 yeah, it works. Brand new. Sweet. They just spent too much time on it. How much are Legos? How much are the Legos? Uh, I mean, I guess two dollars back. I'll take them. Yeah. Oh. Thanks. Appreciate that. Thank you. Wow, what a sale we spent. I spent sixty-seven. What'd you spend? Was it sixty-seven total? I part three dollars. Three dollars for all that dog food. She bought all that dog food for, <laughs> for the pups. Peyton and Nate. But that's a twelve. That's a thirteen dollar box. The dog food is a thirteen dollar uh -huh. box. Yeah. Yeah, on sixty seven. I mean, we got what? We had an Xbox One with. There was easily fifteen games or so in the Xbox, which we'll go Plus over later. Headphones. Plus headphones, two headphones, two controllers, all the cords. 
really good buy. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear on the video at the beginning, he said that he sold it all and then I'm like kind of walking around and I'm like, well, there's the Xbox sitting sitting there. Turns out the, the, the parents were selling the kid's Xbox because he was in trouble and they were tired of him playing the game. So I guess he was trying to be like, oh no, it's sold. You know, it's not available. Uh, got all the cans over there, right? Yeah, it'd be, I, yeah, I'm asking for 50 bucks. The whole thing, 50 bucks. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, all that shit. I'm gonna get rid of it. You wanna sell that too? Yeah. Oh, that's Are you selling any of the games separately? I'll do whatever you want, man. Or how much for that game? I don't know, what do they go for in the store? This one? Like five bucks a piece or some shit because they're used? I mean, I'll give you five bucks for that one. Cool. <laughs> hey, and the sock. And the baby picture that went with it. It's in tight. There's a lot of Christmas and like Disney stuff. What's the difference between a Barbie ornaments? That's for two weeks. For me, a lot of Barbie ornaments. You want to help me out here, there, Ma? Can you hold that, please? Thank you. Bummer. It's broke. It is broken. That is. It's really pretty. That one's not broken. But... Um, so tomorrow we've got that whole room out there to get out. Oh, okay. So and tomorrow then, you'll have more. Oh, stuff. God, yeah. Do you have like a futon or anything? I don't have a futon, I just have the couch. Um, Oh, it's, it's a nice couch. It's very comfortable, too. Are you selling the whole set or the, the whole couch? thing? Everything. No. Well, what are they? PS2? One's a PlayStation game, and then two of them are Xbox games. I'll give you the PlayStation game for free, but you got to pay six for the others. Okay. That works. Yeah. yeah. That works for me. That's one piece. That's not two. Look how beautiful that is. That is confusing. Look at this desk. It's a phone desk. A phone desk. What is a phone desk? The phone there. You sit down. You talk on a phone. What's up, everybody? It's what time is it? Four thirty? Four thirty. It's four thirty, right? I think it's four thirty. Uh, no, it's not. It's not. What time is it? Alexa, what time is it? 4.44, 4.44 p.m. 
And we're back doing our recap video. Courtney's laughing at me, that's my wife, of course. Everything I do is funny to her. Uh, so we're gonna start off uh, with these bag of Legos. I bought them each for $2 a bag, but I didn't care about the blocks and pieces. What I cared about was the Lego men, which I ended up pulling out quite a bit of Lego men from it. The Lego men are something that's more sellable, easy, easier, easily sellable than the blocks. Uh, people buy the block connecting pieces by the pound, but a lot of people need the Lego men. Um, like I said, I, I don't know, there's probably 40. There's quite a bit. SpongeBob, Star Wars, Harry Potter, race car people, Viking people, Halloween people. There's a lot of different types of Lego men here. And we're gonna do very well on these four dollars typically lego men people were selling lots of 10 random lego guys 10 random you didn't even know what you were gonna get it's 10 lego guys and they're pulling like 15 dollars for just 10. so lego people are good if you see lego stuff pick it up if you can get it at a good price and make it make sure there's lego men inside because we want the lego people the minifigures not really the connecting blocks but not too bad in four bucks we'll see what we can do with these ones um we purchased a tub of toys for $7. Most of them are 90s and late 80s Ninja Turtle stuff, which I've never sold before, but I'm excited to try. We're gonna start off with this little like Iron Man, little phaser thing. Um, I saw one sell used working with $17. So, I mean, that's a good start from what was inside of the box. Uh, we got this little Detroit Tigers stuffed bear with a World Series pen. The pen turns on and it has a sound effect, but it needs a new battery. Um, I saw that sell for 10 bucks. I had a Monster Ball 50s, 1959, I believe. Uh, the bottom says 59, but thanks, Courtney. 1959 Frankenstein Monster Ball. These are selling around $15 just for one of these. There's four of them in the set and they're getting roughly 15 bucks for the monster ball. So now we're up to, on the seven project, they were already at $42 on three pieces. A uh, little 2002 miniature Simon color, little handheld Simon says. Uh, I was seeing 10 bucks on those used. Um, there was these little 1991 Adam's Family flashlights. And none of them turn on. They have the little things on the back that you can kind of move. They don't turn on, uh, but someone bought the set of, there's a fourth one, I think it was the hand. Uh, the set sold for around 20-ish used. So, I mean, should be another easy $10 for that set. Uh, there's some Toy Story stuff that's just gonna go in a small lot. There's a couple pieces that I did not know, and hopefully if you see this video and do know what they are, and wanna let me know what they are, that would be awesome. So here's like a, I don't know, I think he's like a 60s little spaceman, I don't know what he is. I don't know where that guy's from. I don't know where he's from. There's a little spaceman. This guy is actually, like he is cast iron up top. He's like cast iron. I, I don't know where that guy is from either. I couldn't really price him out. So that was kind of the extra pieces in there. And then the rest is all like, it's all 80s, 90s, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figurines, uh, accessories, and just a lot of stuff I've seen. Some of the accessories, I mean, they're, they're in bits and pieces. You know, they're missing, some of them is missing stuff. Some are complete, you know, like here, here's an example of a guy, you know. I was seeing for lots like this size, 80-ish, even with people being in bits and pieces. Like there's a guy who's complete without, I don't know what accessories he needs. But 80s toys, 90s toys, if they're at a good price, definite pick up there. I'm thinking on my $7.00. We may have 150 toys. I'm not sure. 
I'll keep you posted as it goes on. Uh, picked up this little helmet. It's an old, I mean, it's, it's, it's an old White Sox helmet, little, it says 70s inside. I don't think it was made in the 70s, I think it was newer. I've seen these sell for 20 bucks, so not bad. I got this for a dollar, so that's not too bad. What else we got? I picked up two Fluger, as I want to think it's pronounced, P-F-L-U-E-G-E-R, Fluger Skill Cast and Akron Fishing Reels, made in the USA. Little small spin wheels. I've never seen before. I've sold pin reels before, and I know that at the sale, if you watch uh, it in the video earlier, I did see some pin reels. They didn't look all that nice. These ones looked a little bit nicer. I bought the pair for seven. I saw the exact same lot of these same two reels together, pull 25-ish used, so I'm not too upset. We'll see how long it takes to get rid of them. I do well on vintage reels. I try to pick up vintage reels as often as possible if the price is right and they look in good condition and they're not locking up or have like surface rust or corrosion to them. So seven bucks for the two reels. I wasn't upset about that. Um, here's some smaller video game buys. As you'll see as my videos go on, video games are typically what I try to buy a lot of. It's what I do the best on. They're small. They don't take up much space. They don't cost a lot to ship. Here we have Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. I paid $5 for this. I've seen this highest 20 as low as 10, so hopefully we can get that $15 mark on it. Um, here's Ready to Rumble PS1 boxing. It's a little bit beat up. The case is, you know, missing the front, but it does have the manual. I mean, it should be an easy $10, and that one costs, that one actually, we bundled these three games for six. So, World at War for Call of Duty is a typical $10 game right now on Xbox 360 because uh, it's backwards compatible. Um, backwards compatible games for Xbox 360, meaning you can play them on the Xbox One, tend to pull money. Still, people are buying them so they can play them on their Xbox One. You can Google a list and I can attach a list to Wikipedia, Xbox 360 backwards compatible to the video uh, below to kind of give you an idea of what you should look for because they are playable on the new console. And then there's Tomb Raider. I haven't sold this game yet. Um, I kind of took a stab at it because it's Tomb Raider and Tomb Raider has been doing well. So I'm not sure, hopefully, I'm hoping at least $5 on that. So we're, you know, on a good day on six bucks, looking at $25 in games, add this on top. That's, I don't know, 36 or so on $11 on these games. Not too bad. Our biggest buy of the day uh, we actually, and this is the first time I've been able to do this at a garage sale up to this date, normally buying consoles, I'm buying the older stuff, but we did purchase an Xbox One today, which is awesome because we got a really good deal on the Xbox One. We got the Xbox One with two controllers, um, also had two headsets which it's not you know bad to see buying and selling with headsets especially with a lot of online gaming nowadays um so two headsets two controllers the xbox one itself and then roughly one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven xbox one games we spent 60 on this lot the console itself with one controller is roughly a hundred to a hundred and fifteen dollars uh, on the Xbox One on this model. This model is the model 1540 Xbox One 500 gigabyte hard drive. So we're seeing roughly a hundred dollars just for the console and one controller. I saw lots of sports games, which if you don't know, sports games are something you typically want to stay away from. There is a few sports games out there that do pull some good money. Um, NFL Street's one of them, that's for older consoles. NFL Street, uh, the last year of NCAA football for the Xbox 360, which has a uh, Michigan player on the cover. I believe it's Denard Robinson. Um, MLB 2K for the Xbox 360 has David Price on the cover. So, I mean, sports games are typically tough, and I saw a lot with sports games and a console and one controller sell for 180 So I'm hoping for at least 200 on this lot with the two headsets, 
two controllers, 11 games. One, two, three, four, five, six are sports games, six are not. So we'll see what happens, but you know, I'm excited to see on that one, a $60 purchase is what we spent on that. And I'm, I'm hoping for, like I said, I'm hoping for 200 on that deal. Um, the last thing I bought, and as you'll see earlier in this video, was the Grandeur Noel Porcelain Christmas set. It had Santa Claus with sleigh and two reindeer. Um, the two reindeer were broken. Uh, we negotiated that down in price. I only paid five dollars for it. Grandeur Noel is a set that we collect for our Christmas decorations. It was a Sam's. It came out around like Sam sold it in the early 2000s, late in that thousands range, 2000s range. And sets, the nicer porcelain ones and the hand painted ones, they sell right around hundred dollars online. So if you see Grandeur Noel, and I'll pick up the box, it's a hefty box, but I'll show you the box. If you see Grandeur Noel porcelain Christmas sets, they are a must buy, especially if they're under $20, because that just covers your shipping. I mean, you're gonna get roughly $100. Six are sports games, six are not. So we'll see what happens, but you know, I'm excited to see on that one, a $60 purchase is what we spent on that. And I'm, I'm hoping for, like I said, I'm hoping for 200 on that deal. Um, the last thing I bought, and as you'll see earlier in this video, was the Grandeur Noel Porcelain Christmas set. It had Santa Claus with sleigh and two reindeer. Um, the two reindeer were broken. Uh, we negotiated that down in price. I only paid five dollars for it. Grandeur Noel is a set that we collect for our Christmas decorations. It was a Sam's came out around like Sam sold it in the early 2000s late in that thousands range 2000s range and sets the nicer porcelain ones and the hand painted ones they sell right around hundred dollars only so if you see Grandeur Noel and I'll pick up the box it's a hefty box but I'll show you the box if you see Grandeur Noel porcelain Christmas sets they are a must buy especially if they're under twenty dollars because that just covers your shipping I mean, you're gonna get roughly $100 per set, and some of the smaller pieces sell for 60-ish, but they're good buys. And it's a 2001 Collector's Edition Porcelain Santa and Sleigh set. As I mentioned, the two reindeers were broken, but the antlers were broken, but they were in the box with it. They had 15 on it, I paid $5 for it. All in all, we're gonna keep this, try to fix up the reindeers, but again, Grandeur Noel, Porcelain Santa and Sleigh set, or any porcelain set for the most part, are good buys. They have great value. If you're out seeing Christmas stuff, don't shy away from looking at it because these things do carry a lot of good value and they sell very, very well. So another great item I got. I didn't know much about it. They looked really cool. They're very heavy in weight. They seemed old. And I got, I got talked into buying them, so I did. They're called J.A. Hinkle's Twin Works Germany. They're made in Germany. It says J.A. Hinkle's Solingen, Solen, Solen, Germany. Sorry if I butchered that. Um, it, does, it was a serving, uh, carving set. Very sharp, cool looking craftsmanship on the handles. And then there's the, the serving fork. I mean, it's, I was seeing their vintage sets, antique sets like this. They were pulling quite a bit of money. I paid $15 for it. So, I mean, I'm probably gonna hold out until I get a good price for it. Um, but like, those things are cool. And they got a lot of, you know, cool craftsmanship to it. Cool color, cool look. And it's got the little box too. I mean, I don't know, you know. I took a stab at 15. I saw some of them selling 60, 70. We're gonna see what we do on it. I'm calling all me, might as well potentially keep them for a nice set. I'm not sure yet, but hey, those things are cool. I'm not gonna lie. So, on to the next thing. Hey, so thanks for viewing our, uh, thanks for viewing the video this time. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. If you can like, share, subscribe, comment below. If you have any questions for me, that'd be great. And I look forward to chatting with you next time.